Welcome. I thought I would post a short video introducing the Buy Me A Coffee program that I announced today and what you can expect from it if you join. First and foremost, me doing more videos like this, as that most of them will be live, so we'll be able to chat in real time. I plan to do these streams once a month, and I will answer your questions, talk about my current writing and other space or sci-fi related topics that come up, and read an excerpt from my current work in progress, which should be fun. Uh, I'll make a post on the Buy Me a Coffee page about a week before the next stream, letting you know when it will be. And if you've signed up, then you'll get an email alerting you to that post. Uh, you can comment on the post with your questions for the stream, um, ideas for topics you'd like for me to talk about. You'll also be able to drop into the chat while the stream is live on YouTube and ask me questions then catching me off guard and making me think on my feet and stuff. Um, <clears throat> all the rewards that come with the membership tiers are posted on the main page which is super easy to get to. The address is down in the bottom corner of this video. It's also buymeacoffee.com GS Jensen, excuse me, forward slash GS Jensen. And after all, coffee fuels amaranth. Um, I also made a handy little chart um, showing the membership info. I am going to share my screen real quick so you can see it. So let's play with that. Boom. There we go. <laughs> um, so here you can see my cleverly named membership levels. Um, as I mentioned, in the first level, you'll get access to these exclusive monthly streams where we can talk and hang out. Um, you'll also be able to download cover art backgrounds each month. And uh, let me show you those real quick. There we go. Aren't they pretty? Uh, but so I think that we'll probably start with Starshine, but then um, I will choose a random one each month to make available for you to download. And these would work great as phone wallpapers, I think. So back to the chart. Um, <clears throat> at the Asterian Dominion level, you'll also get something that readers have been requesting for a long time now, and that is access to the next book 10 days before it releases. The reason I'm able to do this um, is because whenever you offer a book for pre-order on Amazon and the other retailers, they require you to provide the uh, final version 10 days before the release date. So at that point, it's just sitting there waiting, waiting for you to read it. Um, the Concord membership is targeted at my audiobook listeners. If you sign up for it, then you will get to listen to the audiobook chapters of the current book as Piper records them. Now, obviously not literally as she records them in her home studio, um, but as soon as I've signed off on her recording of a chapter, then I will upload it to a private page on my website where you will be able to listen to it there or download the MP3 file. I know that the extra weight for audiobook listeners can be really frustrating, and hopefully this will be a cool way to experience the book a little sooner. Um, you probably have a couple of cliffhangers there too while you're waiting for her to record the next chapter. Um, so that's the program. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Let's see. There we go. Hi. Um, I thought that I would close by reading a small scene from Chaotica to give you an idea of what that will be like in the monthly videos. Now, I am not Piper. There's a very good reason why I hired Piper to narrate my books. This is just me reading the words I wrote, probably badly. But here we are. Um, this scene is from Nico's point of view, and it takes place early in Chaotica. So, <clears throat> Nika stared at herself in the lavatory mirror, her lips curled up in fascination. A golden halo extended out from her body for a good 10 centimeters, undulating in faint waves. Within it, her skin didn't merely shine, it glittered. She was a goddess of fairy tales made flesh, complete with the magic. Everything hummed but not the unpleasant buzz Dashiell was experiencing. Perhaps it was uncomfortable for him because she dragged him forcefully into the torrent of energy of information and life, but she couldn't feel guilty about doing so. She refused to leave him behind. She also couldn't go out looking like this. Undoubtedly, she would be mobbed with questions and demands everywhere she went. She would be a spectacle when she was supposed to be a leader. Can we, do can we dial down the glow a bit? Her question was not directed at some other, for KSL did not exist as a discrete entity sharing real estate in her mind, or she didn't think it did. Yet as she watched in the mirror, the halo dissipated into the air and the glow along her skin faded a touch. Emboldened, she tried another request, green. 
Like adjusting the angle of a prism, the glittering light emanating from her skin transitioned to a deep emerald color. Whoa. But was Kia Cell able to change its own color or was she doing this? Did it happen at the intersection of Kia Cell and her own neural wiring? Was it exceeding to her request or could her mind control the Kia Cell's behavior on demand? A guidebook would be so helpful right now. But she'd wager no one had ever been here before, so it was going to be up to her to discover the extent of her abilities. She shifted her hue to the pale, washed out amber expected of Assyrians and slid on her shoes. Let's get started. So there we go. Um, <clears throat> again, the address to sign up is gobuymeacoffee.com forward slash Gs Jensen. And I hope to see you there.